Hey, what's on, everybody? Ethan Upro here, and welcome to the first episode of Dwarves vs. Zombies. Uh, this is a mini game played on Bruce'sGym.com. Um, the actual IP address is www.bruce'sGym.com. There's also a website that link uh, at that. Yeah, I guess link. Uh, where you can go and check it out. Dwarves vs. Zombies is pretty much a game about killing things. Um, we all start off as dwarves. Uh, we get to build up a keep. We're going to get our dwarven armor, our dwarven weapons, and then a plague is going to come. It's going to kill some of the dwarves, and then those dwarves are going to play as like zombies, skeletons, and creepers. And they're going to try and kill us. So, yeah. Um, <coughs> Excuse me. Wow, I just nearly choked on the word hopefully. Um, <laughs> hopefully I won't get plague this round because it would be nice to do a round as a dwarf, but I've been playing, I've done like four or five games today and I keep dying in really stupid ways so I'm definitely not, um, I'm not having a good day. I keep not, I'm not paying attention to my HP basically. But anyway guys, yeah, Dawn's vs. Zombies is, um, there's no mods required. It's 1.5.2 uh, to log into the server, but all the modding is done server side, which is awesome. Uh, there are hero class, there are hero units that are randomly selected. Let's see if we get any heroes this round. We should. Uh, free to rule has become the dwarven hero Bruce Willikers, who is the creator of the game, Old Man Willikers. So yeah, up. Oh, what map are we on? Oh, looks like we're on, we're just on the flat plains map. Alright, this is the dwarven shrine. We need to protect this, basically. Um, usually you don't spawn with all your stuff, usually you have to go and get it, but this is a pretty good way to spawn considering I want to show you guys the game. Um, so we got our mortar, which is for reinforcing the cobblestone, uh, we got our stone cake, which is for food, we got torches, and we got our dwarven short bow, uh, we got our dwarven rune blade, and then our dwarven armor. Um, in, a in a later video, um, when I'm playing a different map, you guys will see how to play, uh, how to make things. I'm actually going to do a little guide. I'll do the little mini guides like this is how you make stone cake and this is how you get your dwarven rune blade and all those pretty little things. Um, can I get rid of this dirt? Yeah, I can. No, I don't have permission there. Okay. So yeah, basically the idea is to defend the shrine and not become a monster if you can. Do I have permission here? Yep. Alright. So yeah, uh, a lot of players have probably, there's not a quarry or anything on this map. Usually there is a lot more to be done than just, um, a lot more to be done than just building. Uh, usually you have to get, you know, you have to get your supplies, you got to make a stone cake for everyone, things like that. And um, every other player here is a player, obviously, it's all multiplayer stuff, and we're all going to fight zombies together. Uh, that's the pit there, looks like that's all the stuff there that can be dug out. Uh, here's the forward wall. Alright, let's go up to the forward wall, because this is where you want to be at. Forward wall is where it's at. If I got sound, I do, but it's very quiet. It sounds very, very quiet in my ears. I'm just going to go up to 30, just because I don't have the gain. Uh, I d they might be a little loud, but it doesn't matter, because I'm going to try and explain everything as it goes. So let's try and use some mortar, <coughs> which it won't let me do. Mortar! There we go. Turns in smooth stone. Alright, so monsters come from there, so usually this is the, like, secondary wall. Usually the forward, forward wall is actually up here, right on the edge of this area here. Um, I wonder if anyone's going to do that. Ah, uh, here we go, we got kind of like a forward basement here. Basically, um, one thing that everybody needs to remember, if you are going to play Dwarves vs Zombies, one thing to remember is a tall wall is a sad wall. Don't need tall walls. Tall does nothing because creepers will blow up through. A thick wall is a happy wall, guys. We gotta make thick walls. Thick walls make old man Willikers happy, and thick walls keep dwarves from death. So yeah, yeah, we got people building up the wall here. Nice big thick walls. Um, every dwarf does not have to die. Usually every dwarf does die, but um, all they have to do is take over the te keep, uh, the shrine. Once the shrine power hits zero, so yeah, that is a boss bar. Um, once the shrine power hits zero, uh, the game's over. So yeah, there's a somebody made a penis. <coughs> oh, my throat! Ever since I choked on the word hopefully, my voice has sounded funny. But yeah, guys, um, I think everyone's probably going to enjoy this minigame. Um, I enjoy playing it so much. There are um, other games that are coming to this server, uh, Monocle Madness and... What was the other one called? Barnyard Blitz. There are two other games that are being worked on eventually and added to the server. So it is sort of a minigame server. 
I am so very sorry about that, but I seriously cannot get that out of my throat now. And I'm out of drink. That's a little bit better. There's a little bit of water in my drink. Anyway. So yeah, I have so much fun playing this. There is um there is actually a town on the server, like um there's a little server town where you can buy like tuxedos and little suits and things like that to wear when you're not actually playing Dwarves vs Zombies to wear in the lobby. Um, so every time you play a game all the way to the end, you get some XP based on your kills, based on your t based on everything, I'm pretty sure. You gain XP just for playing. Every round you see the end of, you gain some XP. Every level you get some gold coins, some gold nuggets. And yeah, and then you use those gold coins and nuggets to basically um, buy tuxedos. You can buy popping candy and things like that that makes you like shoot up in the air and that randomly. Um, I ate a, like a black hole cake yesterday, which made me randomly teleport around the town as I was playing. I'm going to thicken this wall up one more time. Because one thing you do have to remember, if you are going to play Dwarves or Zombies, as long as you're doing something that you think will defend the keep, do it. Because I worry all the time that I'm doing something that other people don't want. But screw other people. A thick wall is a happy wall. The thicker the wall, the better, because the more creeper explosions it'll take to get in, basically. Um, but never make staircases for the um, zombies and things like that because that'll get you banned. Um, whoop! Using the wrong button. Uh, so yeah, I've got my. I didn't show you guys my healing ale, so that's my healing ale. Uh, you gotta remember, always drunk your juice. Um, it heals you with um, what is it? It's not left click. Oh yeah, it is. It's left click. Everything you do in this game is like use it as if you were going to hit something with it, and that's what activates it, except for eating food, obviously. But um, what I'm doing now is I'm spawning some arrows. If you um, left-click with your bow, it'll spawn your arrows. Uh, I can kind of hear the game sounds in the background. I hope they work out. Um, everything was a little quiet. I haven't, Obviously, I haven't recorded in two weeks. All right, that's heaps of arrows for now. I will need more later. Uh, you do have to repair your armor as it gets damaged. You, you won't really have to worry about that until you get good, unless you camp at the back like a little girl. In which case, you'll always have to worry about it at the end of the game. Ah. So, yeah. Um, everything is... This is a custom texture pack, by the way. Just, obviously, you guys can see it's a res uh, yeah texture pack. It's downloaded on the server, though. You just have to... When you log into the server, you need to have it... You need to have the custom packs turned on, or... Yeah, it's not going to work. Looks like everyone's making their own custom little stupid stuff over there. There are a lot of kids who play this game because it's Minecraft. But still, those people just die, and then we get free kills. So it's all good. Um, hopefully I won't die too quickly this game, because I have been playing terribly. I can hardly hear the game sounds. It's really bothering me. Alright. I don't want to miss any of this. So if this if the sound on this isn't too great, it's because I've been trying to get a game recorded all morning. But um, I will figure it out later on. I can actually... I can hear things. And my later episodes will have better sound and whatnot. It's probably like too loud or something like that, and I just can't hear it because I'm always talking. But anyway, um, these guys over here will die, as you can see. This area here is not bad to build on, but see, monsters are going to spawn up there somewhere. There's a little platform is around here somewhere. And building this stuff here means that the zombies will just jump straight into it and you'll die. Um, <coughs> I'm pretty sure the undead spawn up there somewhere. I don't have my render distance on too far, because actually, whoa, I'm getting low frames out there as well. Um, something might be on fire. That happens a lot. <laughs> But yeah, I, I kind of try not to, um, I try to have my render distance on small, so I can't see exactly where they're spawning from. It's not on small, it's on like normal or something, I'm not using Optifine. Just so I don't see where the monsters are spawning from, and I just know that they're jumping out of the sky somewhere in that direction. Just makes it more fun for myself. Nobody else does that. Everybody in this wants to cheat. <coughs> but it's still fun. Um... Every now and then, some certain people do come on and play, like, um, Pause on Pause and Good Boulderfist are quite big fans of this. They play it with the creator, Old Man Willikers, Bruce Willikers, quite often. Um, one of the hero units you can actually spawn as is Goldfinder Paws, which is the Pause on Pause skin with his arm, his, his items, which is really cool. Um, every now and then you will see them playing. Sometimes you'll see it's a hero and it, you just gotta kind of figure out if it's them or not. Like, for example, the Bruce Willickers here, this isn't the real guy because that was the hero unit at the beginning of the game. So, yeah. I might, if I last a little too long in this, I might, um, kill myself and then we'll see what the monsters are like, but I probably won't have to do that since I suck. 
But anyway, uh, it's taken forever. What is it? It's 10 minutes for a Minecraft day, isn't it? So I'm hoping these will be half an hour episodes. If not, I will split them apart. Um, if you're not standing near a torch at night time, you will get given blindness. That's why I'm putting torches everywhere, just because when the fighting begins in the middle of the night, um, even though zombies and things can destroy the torches, when you jump down here to attack them or you get pushed down here, it's really nice to already have torches over here instead of having to place your own. Looks like these guys are getting rid of trees um, so they can build keeps and things. Um, wither skeletons have the ability to poison when they hit you um, and when they hit you it, they, they're not very strong. They're not going to kill you all that often but they're, for, like, they're meant to harass the dwarves. So they're a real bother because they'll hide in the tree leaves and just shoot at you. Uh, it's pretty It's pretty much two hits with your dwarven bow when it's fully pulled back, your dwarven short bow. If it's fully pulled back, two hits should kill something. Um, two hits at least will kill a zombie and a wither skeleton. Uh, it's usually one hit fully pulled back and you'll kill a... Um, what's that thing called? You'll kill a creeper. Alright, these guys, all of these guys are probably going to die. I don't know, I've never seen anyone build a keep like this. This is messy. Usually we just build this wall here and everything's good. Even though this wall is probably not thick enough and I'm pretty sure there's a back door right here that somebody's left on purpose and everyone's left now because they're like, oh, it must be there intentionally. Well, I don't care about other people's intentions anymore. I don't want to die. I want good video and good video requires me to stay alive, you noobs. This mortar stuff doesn't always work. There we go. So yeah, um, it's good. The good thing about mortar is you can tard pillar mortar, and then you're good. You didn't ruin the wall in any way. Um, so I wonder how... Let's fill my mortar back up. Put my torches back there. Fill that up, because we're about to have night time. Betcha I get zombie plague. Betcha I get the plague. It's Ah, oh, the game feels so quiet for me. It's really bothering me. Got my headset turned down. No, my headset's not down. Hmm. Don't know. Oh well, as long as I know when I'm getting killed, it's all good. Sorry about that. I went to check my volume. <laughs> Alright, we need a torch here, guys, because we're going to go blind at this rate. Alright. Oh, that guy's got it. One really cool thing you could do is this. When they're dying, if you hit them... Ah, I got a kill! Free kill. <laughs> Alright, that gave me a little bit of... Bonus. Did Oh, the paladin withered away. Oh, I think he, he always withers away. <laughs> One of the heroes withered away, which is a bummer. So there should be monsters coming now. I don't know how far they're going to get because everyone's just... There's creepers over there. I can see creepers over there. Everyone's just sort of like stacked everything up. Alright, because I'm recording, i got to play smart. I'm not allowed to run in and get myself killed for no reason. There's a zombie. There's another zombie. The little dinging sound is in the game because it's super useful. Ah, I'm pretty sure uh, Minecraft has a different dinging sound though. Can't hit this damn skeleton. So you guys can hear the um, sound of skeletons hitting everyone else makes that noise like a doo, and then they start taking like damage over time. Okay, what do we got out here? I don't see you, but you could probably see me. Up, oh, damn it, darkness. Get back in the torches. I get really worried about the torches. So I place them pretty much everywhere. But it looks like everybody else has done the same thing. So I don't have to feel bad or anything. Okay, this crappy wall here is nearly destroyed. Did I kill that guy? All my arrows are bouncing off. Maybe it's because I'm recording. Can't even tell. I can't even hear the binging sound when it happens. There we go. Hit that guy. Damn it. Oh god. Woo. So your potion is really, really good. It'll pretty much heal you full from nothing. <laughs> um, I'm going to be a little bit quiet while I play, because that's how I play. Because I got to focus. I'm really bad shot, if you guys haven't already noticed. It's kind of a bit of a clusterfuck, because it's really hard to, you know, choose a target and be the one who actually gets to kill that target. I'm not sure what just happened, but those guys went flying. Ow! 
See, if you hit, you hit them once, usually somebody else will finish off your kill. Which is a real bummer. Um, there are some maps I'm going to put Optifine on. Because this is actually... Um, when I play on my own, it's fine. But like this, it's not. So as you can see, I'm just going to lag here. Oh, I got a kill! Um, if you kill something with your rune blade, I forgot to mention this. If you kill something with a rune blade, um, you'll get a proc, which pretty much is exactly what it means. If you kill something with a rune blade, um, you get proc, and anything you hit from there, you can continue to roll the proc. Proc. So you'll um, one hit everything that you hit for like I think it's like 0.2 seconds or some shit. But if you manage to hit something else in that time, you will see he's got the proc. The little sparkles pop up. Come on, die. There we go, I got proc. Not gonna get anything with it though. Oh, damn it. Electrical creepers spawn randomly. Damn! Crap, I'm too far from home. Run, Ethan! Run like you mean it! Oh, he's dead. Oh god, I'm dead. No? Oh, someone must have hit him. If you hit a creeper when they're trying to blow up, it um, resets their timer. Hey, I want those arrows. So, um... That way they won't explode, basically. Capes are, cakes are infinite once you place them, too. I forgot to mention that. Um, yeah, if you hit some, if you eat cake, you will continue to eat said cake. Ah, somebody else got the proc. Procs are really good endgame sort of stuff, because, um... Whoa! Okay, there's lots of creeper explosions up there. The two, people who are playing creeper this game are actually getting stuff done because usually, usually creepers never get close enough. But everyone's like using their swords. It's weird because usually nobody uses their sword. So the server itself, um, as for like how the server itself goes, uh, yeah, I gotta kill. Um, I don't think he expected it to be as successful as it was so quickly because the server actually can't handle. Um, all the stuff that's going on. Come on, zombie. Come on, zombie. Come on. Where'd he go? Someone got him. God damn, all you hear is just creepers everywhere today. Oh, what the hell? I get killed by a zombie somehow. I don't know. Honestly, sometimes it just lags like that. So become zombie, become skeleton, become creeper. That has that happened to me last game as well. I thought I was... I had full HP and I was perfectly fine, and then... Little bit of lag, and oh, you're dead. Kind of sucky, but still, let's go see if we can do that to somebody else. So one, one fully pulled back bow just hit me because I'm nearly dead. And yeah, other people somehow, other people have better connections than me because I die really quickly, and other people don't. Um, first couple of games I played, oh, we got that guy. First couple of games I played, um, I didn't really lag at all, and then it sort of just started. It came out of nowhere. Oh, this guy here is in a bit of trouble. Yeah, you're spamming your potion. That's not going to help. You're going to run out of mana. So one thing I didn't explain was that your um your XP bar is actually your mana in this. Oh, I got it. Um, so your mana basically does exactly what it is. You can heal as long as you got mana. You start with a thousand. It will slowly regenerate, but it's better to just not have to use it. Like this guy here, he was AFK. Oh no, he was lag. Probably what just happened to me before as well is what happened to him. This happens when you're Australian and you play Dwarves vs Zombies. Oh god, I didn't even see that creeper. See these people here, I don't even know what this guy's doing. Can he even see me? Hey guy, hey guy. Somebody can see me because somebody's trying to hit me. He was just standing there like taking it and eating. Come on guy. Oh sh- Scheisenhausen. So it's not bad, um, get off here Chuck! Yeah, it's what dot. Don't hurt me, Chuck. Don't hurt me, Chuck! Don't kill me! Yeah, that's right. That's right. Jump around! Jump around! So people have been telling me that, um... Whoa! Don't block unless you're in a corner. And just jump around and try to go side to side whenever you're attacking people straight on. Shit works, man. Shit works like it's your job. No shovel kills for you, girl. Guy. This Tommel guy over here is a little girl. He's just standing back shooting while his friend gets attacked by zombies. What a dick. Yeah, Tommel, get in there! That's it, Tommel. Get in there and get some. Get some of it! Get all of me! But yeah, if you kind of just jump around and swing, everything's fine. 
Oh, I guess that spider poisoned him. That's perfect. All right, hit this guy. Hit Tommel. Hit Tommel. Yes, Tommel, you have been deaded. And as long as you're being poisoned, we may as well hit you as well. I think the server is a bit laggy because people are dying in a very similar way that I died. <laughs> oh, I died. All right, what do we got? So there's been 296 monster kills. That's creeper just blew up and threw me in the wrong direction. It's so annoying. Uh, there's only 34 dwarves remaining, as you can see on the side 33, as you can see on the side of the screen. Um, I've actually gotten two more kills than I usually get, because I usually only get two kill. I usually get zero kills as it is. This guy over here is gonna die. Yeah, good work. Dropped that fool. All right. Got to look for dwarves that are stuck. There's lots of torches here. Hey, guy. Yeah, you look like you're not having much fun. Yeah, man. Fun is not what you have. Oh, fun isn't what I have either. As you, cause because, uh, cause because, as you can see, I'm getting hit, and then I'm still getting hit while I'm in the air, which is causing me to fly away. That's Minecraft lag. That oh, someone hit me with a bow. That's Minecraft lag at its best. That means it's the server and not me, which is a bummer. But it's, I'd say if they can, they'll just upgrade the server since they, so far it's been like a whopping success. Oh, what did I get? Uh, has become Wolverine. Ah, oh, Wolf Fangs. All right, Wolves, low defense. They're our special unit that people randomly spawn as, um, and they howl. But yeah, Wolves, low defense, good attack though. If you can get with some zombies who are attacking a guy, your wolf fangs can be that little bit of extra DPS that brings him down. So I'm gonna go here. Unless you get hit heaps like this. If I can, ah, uh, damn it. Okay, those people weren't noobs. <laughs> if you go after people that don't know the wolf is more dangerous, they'll attack the zombies um, instead of prioritizing the wolf. But, um,. If you go up to people like I did who knew that they could kill a wolf easier, then it doesn't really work out. Alright, this guy here is on this guy here is on his own. Players who end up stuck on their own can they, they can tank for ages. Like you can honestly you can survive hordes Ah oh, damn old man Willick has got a proc. Uh, you could survive hundreds of zombies at once. As long as you know when to heal and you know to swing. Uh, you move around and look for that skeleton. As long as you know when to heal, you'll be fine. Uh, and if you don't lag at all. Because, you know. <laughs> lag kills everyone. Um, I might look at Optifine to see if, like, to make sure any and all FPS lag. Because I don't really get much on this. It's actually really good considering how much stuff goes on. How little FPS lag you get. Damn it, he procced. So, yeah, with such little FPS, I might make sure there's absolutely no FPS lag. Fucking creep ass! I hate people who do that. I'm sure they'll fix it though, because it's so annoying. But um, yeah, if you get zero FPS lag on this, like I hopefully will, with Optifine, it'll just be the connection. And you know, some days I'll have a good connection, some days I won't. Um, if I can get a day where I have a good connection, it'll be all fine. I'm dead. See, that wasn't a good connection, because for me, he'd hardly even drew back his bow, but he got a full shot off. <sighs> Alright, there's dwarves over there and over there. There's no one really on their own. I don't know which side to attack. Um, the problem with dwarves splitting into two groups is the only time zombies can really kill anyone is when they, like, you have to mass people. You've got to have so many people attacking them at once or them to be really lagging, get, like, a lucky creeper hit or something. Because, yeah, if you don't... Get back off the wall, fool! Someone just pushed me up onto the wall. Oh, and every time you hit as a zombie, you have a chance to heal a little bit. That's how come... Ah, uh, somebody just procced. Somebody's dead! Who procced? Kill the guy who procced. Oh, no, he didn't. Procs over. Kill this fool. This guy wants to keep going. Tiffanian. Tif oh, God. Go off this side of the wall. Yeah, that's right. Get down there. Get down there. Get down there! Damn it! I wanted you to fall off the wall, guy. I'm surprised you didn't move more, unless they have that turned down. I know when I play survival games, people just fly away when I hit them. I'm pretty sure I saw a uh, dwarf that was a little too far out here. 
So yeah, these games can go forever. Like, um, one game I played in earlier was, I think it was like 1,500 kills before the game ended, which is crazy amounts. Get on, Tiffany. All he does is run. All he does is run! Damn it. Old Man Willikers was procced. On Old Man Willikers. Get Old Man Willikers. Obviously, Hero's weapons are slightly stronger. Um, that's Excalibur, the gold sword that Old Man Willikers uses. But, you know, just because he's Old Man Willikers, if he's if a bad player... Oh, damn it, he procced. If a bad player plays as Old Man Willikers, then it's not going to change anything. He'll still die. Ah, he's going to proc on me. Ah, there's no one else around. I need to find the rest of the zombies and see where they're at. Alright, so we got 20 remaining. Some people will probably start sneaking around to the shrine now just to sort of drop its power. Um, actually, that is a good idea. I'm going to go around, and if I drop the shrine power, it might force all the zombies to go... Um, I might try and force the zombies to run over. Ah, uh, not the zombies. Force the players to run over to the shrine, and that'll make them get all close and nice, like. This guy here is running away from a zombie. Doesn't matter. Let's affect the shrine power. Alright, this... Oh yeah, there are some people here. Alright. Damn it. How are people getting in over here? Is there a door? Oh, there's a door. Yeah. Alright, if we can affect some of the shrine's power. That guy healed after getting hit once. Why? <laughs> Why did you do that, guy? Nightwall, I think you're pretty new to this. You're just gonna run and heal. Wow. Who is this guy? He really is. He's He must be very... Yeah, he's just running. He's very new. Hello. Nightwall. Sure you don't want to run away again? Come on, come get it! Whoa, how did I just... Don't even know what just happened. <laughs> That's my problem anyway. People with good internet will make videos on this and they'll get popular doing it and I'll just get like average shitty views because Australia's internet it bites the mightiest cock. Oh we got an iron golem. They're pretty dangerous. You cannot tank an iron golem. I've tried. Back when I was new that guy's gonna blow up. That guy's gonna blow up. Oh. Wish the creeper had blown up when I wanted him to. Uh, through here. I can't believe how, like, much my throat hurts now that I choked on the word hopeful at the beginning of this video. <laughs> I'm also really worried that my audio isn't high enough. Because it, it sounded funny. It sounded really funny when I, um, started. Hey. Hey. I see you up there. Hey, what's up? Yeah, I'm gonna keep swinging so that you can't hit. Yeah. Yeah, you're an idiot. There are bad people in this game. I hate Minecraft because every person's skin looks like a stupid troll, so I instantly hate everyone. I'm stuck. I think I might be a bit laggy too, for like them. Yeah, I'm a zombie. I'm a zombie, you're probably not going to beat me one on one with a sword unless I lag out and you hit me a million times. Oh god! Like that. Oh no, someone hit me with a bow. That's what it was. Alright. Shrine hasn't taken any damage, but it looks like all almost all the dwarves have fallen back. Which is good. Once they once they sort of cluster up in the shrine, it's just a heap of zombies hitting the person over and over again until they run out of mana. Or they make a mistake or they lag or something. Now that I now that I've actually had to talk about it. People usually die because of lag. Oh my god! Hey, Snickerdoodle. Or Maria. <laughs> hey, Snickerdoodle. Get back here, Snickerdoodle! God damn it. Ah! Do, 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 do. Ooh, there's a staircase here, is there? No, but this is the way in. Is it? Damn it, we're so close. Come on! <laughs> oh yeah, I'm in your keep. Looks like there was already a way in. Hey, that guy is a paladin. He mustn't lag at all. Hey, Midge. 
You don't lag at all, huh? Yeah, that's right. With my lag, I am invincible. I am pretty hard to hit, though, apparently. Nobody cares that I'm here. Just <laughs> That's the laggy guy. Ignore him. Oh, that bow guy's gonna hit me. Never mind, he missed. Oh, no, he got me once. Rawr! In the corner of Rawr! Jukub! Jukub! Get here, Jukub! Am I hitting you? No, wrong guy. You're Jukub! What an inappropriate name. Oh my god! Somebody kill this guy. He's got- yeah, he's getting low! See, every- this is what pisses me off. Is every time they get close... You, damn it! I thought I dodged. Every time you get close to killing one, they just run away. <laughs> it's so sad. Because for us, we die a million times. They don't die at all. Still. I need to learn to play like a little girl and just shoot from the back until my internet gets a little bit better. I gotta call Telstra up today, actually. I might do that after this video. Because I gotta call Telstra up and ask them to refresh my line. Because I think there's something wrong with the port. And that's the reason that it's so laggy. Old Man Willikers got shot out on his own, but that doesn't really mean it. Oh, I fell in the hole, damn it! Get up here. Oh, old Man Willikers is just gonna proc and kill everything over there. Do, 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 do. Which wall are we at? Like, there was like 20 walls, so we gotta be getting closer now. <laughs> God damn. Damn it! This is where the game gets really frustrating because it's just a bunch of fucking holes from creepers. I will admit, I rage quite a lot playing this game. It's ridiculous how childish some people are about this, though. People, oh, people rage in the chat. Actually, if you like a good laugh, come play Dwarves vs Zombies and just watch the chat because they would just whinge and moan about how bullshit everything is. The only bad thing, honestly, is creepers. Because <laughs> make it so hard to move. They are fun though, because the explosion throws you as well, so it's really exciting. Look, you're gonna run away. You're gonna try and run away. You're gonna run away. But we're all with you, Red RDM Tisk. We're all here. We're your friends. We love you. You're the one I'm after. You're the one I care about. Where are you? <laughs> On RDM Tisk. On RDM Tisk. Yeah, that's it. Just hit that one guy. These idiots who spam their bows are so annoying. Oh, I fell. Damn it. Now what do I do? How do I get back up? Creeper. Creeper. Let me up there, yo. This way. No? I hate this part of the game. If you spam click on cobblestone, you have a chance to break it or something like that. Okay, I give up. All I can hear is that golem going to town on their stuff. Crack. Crack. Crack! There we go, crack cocaine! I killed someone. Oh no, I didn't get the kill. But I hit someone when he died. Okay, this knight guy's obviously taking a lot of damage because he's- DAMN IT! <laughs> People, it's really disorientating. When you get to this part of the game, a creeper blows up and throws you across the room and that's when you forget to heal. But I found, if you're gonna play zombie, find a guy. Alright, Jukub, you're my friend. Find a guy and focus on that guy. Until he dies. And then find a different guy. So I'm gonna go RDM Tisk again, because he got away from me before. Although he's trying to- he's propped! He's propped! Run away! But yeah, find a guy and focus on him. Because if you hassle someone long enough in this stage of the game, they will die no matter what. Especially if you're like RDM Tisk and you heal too much. You spam your potion way too hard. See, he's down! And I killed the guy next to him. Aha! Alright, this guy, um... He's pretty good, I think. Pretty sure I remember his name. 
There's a high score section, and you can see. Did he die? I think he procked. Yeah, he procked. Don't let him. Oh, he proc should have been out by then. Christ. God damn, there's three left. If there's only one guy I can see in this, people hide. But it doesn't matter, because if the shrine dies, the game's over anyway. So if you've got people who are hiding, just ignore them and just kill the shrine. Because it's really annoying. Someone fell to their doom, lol. Um, that's just a creeper blowing up underneath them, throws them up in the air. It's really good on the levels where it's like downhill and there's like keeps with really high walls. Because a creeper blows you up in the air and you're stuffed. You can't hit that heal potion. Because if the full one hit kills you, then it, the potion won't work. Alrighty. Midge is around here somewhere. I saw Midge. He must have died. We got two people hiding because they probably don't understand how the game works. Woo! <laughs> Creepers do this. They blow up. <laughs> oh, that's so great. So, guys, the description for this will be uh, the um, link to get onto the webpage to play this will be in the description. Um, it's 100% free. You can play it. You can pay to be a patron to get into any game you want. Um, so yeah guys, like always, thanks for watching. Uh, let's go to the lobby. We'll see if I level up. You guys can see that. So now my XP bar here is actually my level. And for playing the game, I will gain XP. And level up! That's awesome. And you gain coins and things for leveling up. Um, congrats on level 20. You've been gain access to wear a guy's blindfold, it doesn't matter. I'm wearing the patron's penguin armor. Penguin! So like always guys, thanks for watching. Um, come play this game. I play it a lot, so you guys will see me in here. Come play the game with me. Uh, link is in the, uh, the um, IP is in the description. Thanks for watching guys. Hit that like if you want to see more, and I will see you all next time.